Hello friends, uh, welcome to this section. Uh, today in this section, we'll look into how we can create a local repository uh, for which can be used uh, with our yum command. So whenever you do a, a installation of your uh, uh, Red Hat Linux, you may have used a CD-ROM or you may have used this ISO file. So let me just show you the ISO file which you may have used based on the version. So this is the ISO file RHEL server 7 uh, dot one. This is around uh, uh, 3.5 GB of file. Let's see the uh, 3.7 GB is the ISO file size and they will have uh, the repository as well inside it. So if you want to make use of this local repository instead of the online one, then how can we configure this uh, so that uh, our local repository can be uh, used? Uh, so to do that, uh, there are a few steps uh, which we have to follow. So the first step is we have to mount this uh, uh, ISO file to our uh, local uh, file system. So we'll create a file system and we'll uh, mount this. So we have to mount this ISO file as a block device because uh, this ISO file we will not be able to go inside this ISO file. Let me just just give me CD root LSFNLTR cd rh el so so we'll not be able to go inside uh, these files files are present inside this we are not able to do, uh, to see them so in that case what we have to do we have to mount this uh, uh, file system as a block device so that the files which are there inside this iso file can be used so we'll use a option uh, loop we'll use mount uh, and a loop option so this loop option will make sure that our uh, iso file has been uh, mounted as a block device so the next thing which we, we have to do after this we have to create the repository we will have will name it as a local repository and then there are a few parameters which we have to add inside that file and this configuration resides inside our etc yum.repo.t file folder and so let's uh, take a deep dive let's uh, do this so the first thing is uh, as already mentioned we have to create a folder structure where we will mount it so so we will mount it in MNT repos local. So we will just uh, MNT MNT MKGAR repos CD repos MKGAR local. CD local. So now we have uh, we have created this uh, local mount point. So this point will use uh, to mount our ISO file. So our file is at root. We will use the command mount and hyphen O for option and then loop and then RHEL and this file and this location where we want to mount it. So we'll mount it so it will be mounted as a right protected. It's just like your CD room. And if you do df-kh, you will be able to see this as uh, as the mount. Now, if you go inside, sorry, we will be able to go inside this uh, folder, mount folder, mount point, and see what are the files available there. So LSFNLTR, you can see there are packages available. So you can see there are a lot of packages which are available. So the only thing uh, uh, which uh, will be, uh, which we will not get uh, with the local repository is that these packages will not uh, be updated. So you have to manually update these packages inside this uh, ISO file. Uh, then only it will work and the online one the packages get updated and the red hat will take care of package update so now we have done with this so the next step is to navigate inside our uh, yum 
configuration file so yummy repos dot so this is the location where you have to go here and there are few other repos so you can see these are the uh, repo files so right now we'll create one uh, repo file that is vim local underscore ss technical and it should be with repo it should end with dot repo file type so this is the repo which we are going to create then we have to insert something like uh, we have to give them we have to give the name local technical you can give it repo the next line we have to give the name we can give the name what is the name you want to give we'll give us SS technical red hat local repository then we have to give the base URL. Base URL is the location where it has to look for the repository file equal to. Then it's a file and colon and triple slash. We have to give the triple slash mnt slash repos slash local. So this is a location where we have created our uh, our package so so this is the location which we have to provide here and uh, the next thing which we have to do is uh, enable equal to one so it is enabled and g g check equal to zero so it will not check for the gpg check uh, and we can save this so just uh, make a little check what are the information here so mnt repose local let's see yeah. if it is correct so yes the file the file system is correct and we have given the same so now now our repository has been configured but there are other repositories also there, there. so what we can do is we can remove all the other repositories or for now i will uh, rename them so that uh, uh, they does not uh, appear so we have to just uh, you can remove this but don't remove it on your uh, uh, system if it is a testing system only then only remove it we can disable disable these repos as well so for now i am just uh, renaming so that uh, it does not show up in our search So there is only one repo file should be there that is local there is one more so just let me make that change in that file also so so now oh sorry i've used uh, I have to use move have a note so now only one repo file which is present that is our local ss technical uh, repo file and all other repo files have been uh, redeemed or have been disabled so now you can uh, remove the cache with the yum clean so it will uh, clean all the repository and uh, now now let's check and the what uh, repository does it uh, shows a yum repo list 
if you do yum repo list you can see only the local repository local repository which you have uh, which we have enabled is uh, uh, is visible here it has 4371 rpms available there and now whenever we do any installation it will go to our local uh, repo list repo list and it will install it so let's so you can see it will uh, it has to search uh, in the local uh, repository if it is not able to find it will uh, and not work so let me just search for a one software which is available inside this uh, emac so it will uh, search in this repo list and you can see it is said it is coming from this local local repository all the dependencies and this software is present from the local repository local repository has been displayed and uh, we will be able to install this by giving why so uh, this uh, software is getting installed from our local repository uh, which we just now have mounted so this is how we can mount a, a local iso file or a local dvd mount on our uh, red hat system so that it can be made use of it so let's just uh, reiterate so what we did is uh, just uh, we created a folder we created a folder uh, slash mnt slash uh, repo list slash local you can give any name and then we have uh, use mount hyphen o and then loop loop so that and uh, this particular uh, uh, red hat iso dot iso file becomes a block device and we will be able to use it and then the location where with location we want to mount it repo list slash local so once this is mounted then what we did is it we created one new file that local dot repo file even this file has to be created inside etc slash yum dot repos dot default so you can go and create this inside this uh, the file should start with this uh, bracket and uh, you have to give the name you can give any name then you have to give the base URL you have to give, if you are using file then you have to give three location and the mount location and then you have to give enabled or if it is one is enabled and if you give zero it will be disabled so and you can also give gpg check equal to zero because right now it is disabled so we have not enabled the gpg check and once this is done so the next step is uh, you have to clean the cache uh, of all the cache from the yum repository and then when you run the yum repo list it will show you the local repository which you have just now created only that name uh, so make sure that uh, there is no other uh, file present with dot uh, repo uh, inside your uh, etc yum repo D folder if it is there you can uh, uh, rename them or we, uh, you can disable them so so if you disable them then only this particular new uh, local repository will be we will be able to see so we can you can do that and then you can uh, check by installing any software which is present inside that uh, uh, local repository so emac is a software which is present inside that uh, local repository and once we do that it will uh, search in our local repository and uh, install it so now all the whenever you do yum search or yum install it will go ahead inside your uh, uh, local repository if it is able to find those files it will install it if it is not able to find that files uh, or rpms then it will not work so this is how we can uh, have our local iso file mounted as a local repository for our system 
hope you are able to, you were able to get and uh, you will try to do it on your local system and uh, if you see face any issues or anything you, you can contact us and we'll be able to help you with this thank you